going through all of these gorgeous things that we're going to be making on the show today because it is of course a masterclass. Welcome back to Crafters TV, my name is Joe and this is going to be an incredible couple of hours for you featuring one of the original Crafters Companion products which is absolutely awesome. We are of course talking about the Ultimate Pro and we are in freebie frenzy so it means that you are going to get extra freebies galore on this product. If you've been thinking about an Ultimate Pro for a while, then this is absolutely the show for you. I'm excited as well because I've never done an Ultimate Pro Masterclass and I mean, we've really pulled it out of the bag because Sarah's here with me. Sarah, this is like where it all began really, isn't it? I know, and who else would be doing an Ultimate Masterclass other than yours truly? This is People always joke and say this is like my third child, this product, right? <laughs> and, and this is the one where everyone always laughs because I can whip it around and be here, there and scoring this. And they joke and say you could have me standing on my head with one hand tied <laughs> behind my back and I could still make a lot of cards and boxes and envelopes. I am going to be putting this right through its paces. Now, what I need to know from you guys today. So as everybody who is chatting along with us today and I'm going to keep asking you this so that as we get new viewers joined throughout the show I can understand who my audience is, who am I talking to. Are you someone who has the ultimate or who doesn't have the ultimate? If you don't have the ultimate, have you seen it before? Do you know what it does? Do you not know what it does? If you're someone who has it, are you someone who has it and you're getting best use out of it? Or do you feel like you could get a lot more use out of it if you understood more about how to use it? If that is you, what do you need to understand more about? What can I do to help you get the best from this? Because as a product, this is your card maker, envelope maker, box maker. It's got an integrated paper trimmer, storage compartment. It's got your embossing lines and corners on there. It's got your ribbon creator. It's a 3D envelope box creator. Will it do the washing it comes up? With pretty much. <laughs> Everything but the washing up. Pretty much. I'm sure if you wanted to do the washing up, you could probably <laughs> do that as well. When it comes to everything a card maker needs, we call it the ultimate because it really is the ultimate. So I need you to be comment, commenting along and letting us know what bucket you sit into. But what I just want to explain, Joe, before we start, okay? There are two versions of the ultimate, right? 
And that's because in Europe, well, actually most places in the world, there is a standard paper size, which is called A4, which is measured in millimetres, is 297 millimetres by 210. So this is a piece of A4, right? Now, all of the card folding and everything on the Ultimate is about taking your standard size sheet of A4 and folding it in half as a concertina, as a gatefold, as a pop-up, as a fold-back, as a stepper card, but all starting from a standard card size. In America, there is a different set of standards and it's called US letter size. So your US letter size is in, measured in inches and it's eight and a half inches by 11 inches. So standard paper that's readily available in the US is eight and a half by 11, which means a half fold or a gate fold or a concertina or a bifold or a trifold is all done of a standard eight and a half by 11. All your envelopes are to fit the standard fold downs of an eight and a half by 11, which is completely different to an A4. They look almost the same, right. but one's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider. Okay, so I know that, the feeling. That, that, <laughs> so that's basically the difference between the two. So what I want you to decide today is, are you watching in the UK, or pr to be honest, are you watching from anywhere other than North America? And wherever you're watching other than North America, you need our standard UK ultimate, right? If you're watching from the US, what I need you to decide is, am I doing my cards with um, US letter size cards? paper and cardstock, so am I buying it from the store and using a standard US letter size, in which case you're going to want the US version of the ultimate, or what most of our customers in the US are doing now, they buy all of their cardstock from us here at Crafters TV, so if you are buying all of our Crafters TV stuff, it's all coming here from the UK, so it's all A4, so if you are shopping regularly and buying the Hunky Dory card kits or our Centura Pearl, and you're buying an A4 size, you also are going to want the A4 Ultimate. It's not about one is in centimetres, one is in inches, because if that's the case, I'll tell you, most of us here in the UK, we work in inches. It's even though, you know, centimetres is how we're supposed to work, here, most of us still work in inches. We're still working in inches. It's are you A4 or are you US letter size? That's the decision you need to make. So I'm going to start cutting my cardstock ready. Awesome. I'm going to cut some down to A4, some down to 8.5 by 11, so I can show you all of it. But Joe, if you could just walk everyone through the different options of which ultimate they need and what we've got in our freebie frenzy today, which whichever ultimate you're going for, we've got freebies for you. And then we'll come back and start all the demos. In the meantime, be answering that question in the comments. Are you someone who already owns an ultimate, someone who doesn't? If you are, do you get the most from it? How do you use it? How can you use it better? How can I help you today? If you're not, what is it you need to know? And I'm here for you for the next two hours. Absolutely. Uh, I will be like the, uh, the courier of those messages. You can get them into it. It's really easy to get in touch. Crafters TV if you're over on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you are across on YouTube, make sure you're subscribing there as well. What I would say is as well, I think there's going to be a lot of American customers that have the US Ultimate that are going to come and get the A4 UK Ultimate today. There's definitely something to be said for owning both of them. Now, I've got two uh, different sets of details for you. You can either go for the UK version, which is this one just here. If you're in the UK, $39.99 or $69.95. Now, if you would go for, if you would come here any other day to Crafters TV or our website and buy just the Ultimate Pro on its own, it would cost you thirty nine ninety nine or sixty nine ninety five. What we've then done is we've slapped 100 bonus points. You're going to get bonus 100 Club Inspire points, but we're also going to put in a load of other gorgeous freebies with you. Because, of course, it is our freebie frenzy event. It's running up until the end of tomorrow. So in here, you're going to get the boxer board in here. It's going to help you uh, create the most amazing boxes. You'll see this demonstrated as we go through the show. That's worth £15 in the UK or uh, $15 if you are across in the US as well. Then what we've got for you are two embossing boards that you can see just up here. So you're gonna get included the sweet things and the special treats. They both make awesome designs for you. You're gonna see them in action as we go through the show. They are worth as well, $12.99 in the UK or $12.95 in the US, which is amazing because you are getting, well, close to, you know, close to 45 pounds, $45 worth of freebies included in here, which is absolutely amazing value for money. It's already very, very busy. Now, if you wanna go for the US version, absolutely, you can do that. The details are slightly different for you. Uh, you'll see both options uh, on the website. If you're shopping in the US, you'll have the option to shop for the UK version 
or the US version. The US version, exactly the same deal, it's just a slightly different configuration on the Ultimate Pro itself, $69.95. Please get your questions in, there's lots of you tuning in from all over. Do you know what else I'd love, Sarah? What? I'd love to see all the things that people have made with their Ultimate Pros. Uh, if you want to send us pictures of those, please do. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. The thing is, Sarah, so we were chatting before the show, weren't we? Of all the products we sell, this is the one that I think I know the least about. So I'm really excited to get in depth and really understand exactly how we're going to use it. I have got as well, Sarah, you know, if a little later you fancy, you know, teaching me a little bit of a, a basic technique, I've managed to steal Craig's ultimate from him as well. Ooh. So just putting it out there, if you think I'm up to the challenge, then maybe we could have a look at that in the second hour. What do you think? You, you guys at home, let me know what you think. If you think <laughs> we should let him have a little go later, uh, we might let him get hands on. What I am going to do, guys, I'm going to start right from the beginning so that for all those newbies out there, they can appreciate the kind of journey that you can go on. So I will do all of that as we're going along, OK? Now, I am just going to show you the difference between those paper sizes before we get started because I've been busy cutting here. So I've got a piece cut to 8.5 by 11 and I've got some cut to A4. Now, to the naked eye, they probably look pretty much the same size, yeah? And the card sizes you end up with are pretty similar. However, if I put the two of them together, can you see this about eight and a half by 11 is taller. No, this is my eight and a half by 11, sorry, Craigie. See, I even had to think about it, Joe. So 11, whereas the A4 one is nearly 12 inches tall. It's just shy on 12. Yeah, if you look at how wide they are, the UK oh, one yeah. is not quite as wide, it's 21 centimetres, the US one is eight and a half inches, so one's about eight and a quarter, one's about eight and a half, and you think, oh, well, what does it matter? It's just a fly's eyelash, you know, it's not going to make <laughs> all the difference. It really is going to make all the difference, okay? So if I just show you, it'll, it'll make total sense, right? So if I start with my UK one, can you see all the sizes down here? It's a little bit difficult sometimes for the camera to read these, but can you see it says gatefold A4, oh, yeah, gatefold A5, concertina A5, gatefold A4, trifold, half fold, ha five inch square fold, half fold A4. And if I look at the US one, the lines are just in a slightly different place. So this is gatefold for half a sheet of US letter. And actually, if I line up both of these roughly at the top of each other so you can see, yeah. So can you see that gatefold for half US letter is in a slightly different place to this one here, which is a gatefold for A5, yeah? And then this one here, gatefold for US letter, slightly different place to what my gatefold A4 is, right? And it goes all the way down. So there's my half fold US letter. There's my half fold, um, you you care what so there's right? no just winging it with the other paper no because if and i'll show you it it'll, it'll all make sense when i fold one over okay, right don't. now if i just kind of we've got a lovely little video as well i want to make sure that we have that video to show everybody at some point they've got it on stamp in fact you know what i think it might be good for you to see that video guys i think that might be nice before i start walking through because if you see the video you see the 10 features that it does that's basically going to show you that, that what we're going to do that's, that's basically a plan of the whole of our show but live right so here we go have a little look at the video keep, keep your comments coming in and then i'll start on the demo The Ultimate Crafter's Companion is an all-in-one compact carry case which is going to allow you to score, measure, trim, emboss and embellish. The case incorporates 10 vital paper crafting tools all rolled into one lightweight and portable product. If you're crafting at home, this makes a great workstation. Or the carry case design allows you to easily pack up everything you need for crafting on the move. With the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make hundreds of different cards in all shapes and sizes. Working with standard card and paper size, you can fold anything, from basic bifold, trifolds and gatefold cards, right up to pop-out, jump-up cards, or even more complex keepsake books. Simply rest your cardstock against the carefully calculated grid lines, read off the desired size, and use one of the specially designed scoring tools to create an accurate and very professional crease. Every card needs an envelope, and with the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make envelopes in any shape and size to match all your handmade cards. Package your delicate craft projects in colour-coordinated matching envelopes, and add a professional finishing touch. 
No longer will you be restricted to making cards to correspond with ready-made envelope sizes. With hundreds of possible size combinations, your imagination is the limit. And for those really special dimensional cards, you can create 3D box envelopes to not only house, but to protect your handmade card creations. Create your own boxes in any shape and size, from a matchbox right up to a shoebox. All of the calculating and measuring has been taken care of for you, so you can simply follow the guide and create custom sized boxes which fit together perfectly. Triangular, hexagonal, diamond shaped boxes are all possible, as well as your regular boxes. You can also create specialised exploding boxes or expanding boxes too. You can even make your own favour boxes for those special occasions. Any craft tool box should include a paper trimmer and when you're crafting on the go with the ultimate paper crafting tool, you'll need a paper trimmer at your fingertips. The integrated trimmer stores inside the tool and clips into place for easy access. The ergonomically designed cutting mouse holds a standard size blade which is very easy to replace. Create delicate embellishment for your paper crafting projects with the integrated bow maker. The simple six step process will allow you to create perfect bows in an instant. For paper embellishment you can use the decorative embossing shapes which are featured throughout the board. Emboss onto special papers, vellums or even acetate to create your own intricate toppers. Everything you need comes included with the tool and stores inside for easy access. Each unit includes a full colour instruction book, cutting mouse and ruler, the bow making pegs and two specially designed scoring and embossing tools. Whether you're crafting on the move or using this as a complete workstation at home, the Ultimate Crafter's Companion provides you with all the tools you need at your fingertips. So does that make a little bit more sense of all the things it can do, right? So now you know what it can do, let me just show you, because I was going to talk you through the, all the different things, but you've just seen the places, right? So if I just take, here's my two pieces of cardstock again. So this is my A4 cardstock, and this is my US letter size cardstock. So if I come onto my A4, right? If I want to score this in half, watch what we do. We come to half fold A4, put the score line in there. Yep. And what that does is, Joe, is it puts it in exactly the halfway point so that when we score this, my card meets perfectly here and I have that lovely professional crease, right? If I was doing this, if I had US cardstock, right? And I think, all oh, right, I'm going to score it in half. Half fold A4. Put that along, fold that over. Oh, can you see? Oh no. It's just not the right size at all. Yep. Yeah, and, and that's the whole point. It's the same. It becomes really obvious if you were to do a gatefold, right? So if I do gatefold A, gatefold A4, and then I turn this right around here and do gatefold A4. Because people often ask me, you know, what's the difference between them? Or can I not just buy this one? Mm. So if I fold these over, can you see? That's not right because they, they're, yeah. over top and they're over top of each other, right? Whereas if I take my A4 cardstock and I go and score at gatefold A4, score gatefold A4, turn it right around, gatefold A4, that will give me the gatefold which meets absolutely perfectly in the centre. I mean, that's, that's what you want. That's perfect, isn't it? This crossing over is absolutely not what you want because it doesn't, it doesn't work. However, if I bring my, if you are wanting to shop in the US and use your US letter size cardstock, and I bring this in, this is US letter. So if we want gatefold for US letter, I score gatefold US letter, turn it right around, gatefold US letter, and now this is going to do it exactly in the right place, Joe, so that now with your US letter cardstock, your gatefold meets perfectly. And it's then when we did the UK one, you get four meters perfectly. So just buy the right size because that follows through, Joe, when you're using the card folding side. And also this side here is your envelope making. Because if you think, this is a piece, this is a gatefold card for US letter. This is a gatefold card for UK. Look, one is, let's put it the other way around like wider, this, right? Wider, isn't it? Can you see? This one's taller, but not as wide. Mm. So the envelope for this card, which is standard, is different to the envelope for this card, card which is standard. And the lines on the here are just in slightly different places, can you see, to the lines on there. And that's all it is. The function of the board is exactly the same, 
just the paper sizes are different and it follows right through where I've done educational DVDs or we've done USBs. I always do a version that works with the UK paper sizes. And I say UK, what I mean is the rest of the world. Okay. So paper, one that works with A4 size and a one that works with my US letter size. So hopefully that is giving you the right grounding to start off with a solid understanding for when I get ready to go into my demo. So I'm going to get ready with some card cut draw. Give us a second and we'll start on the first demo. Brilliant. It's just all about having the right tool for the right job. Lots of you are letting me know in the US that you own both the UK and the US versions. Stacey Hint says, I have the US and UK versions. I use both depending on what paper size I'm using. It's a great tool to have, especially for making boxes and envelopes. I think there'll be a lot of you out there that have got the US version are coming back for the UK version or the other way around as well. Now, let me just give you the details for the UK version. So if you're in the UK, this is the one that you want. If you are in the US and you would like to use A4 rest of the world style paper, this is the one that you want. No matter which one you're going for, all the freebies are part of our freebie frenzy event are totally the same. So you are going to get the amazing boxer board in there and you're going to get the sweet things and the special treat scoreboards as well. It's all coming to you, you get absolutely everything that is pictured here which is absolutely awesome if you want to go for the us version then we've got that on the show for you as well it is us only 69.95 is your price uh, it will come in two separate boxes as well if you are sh uh, sh um, shopping in the us not a worry at all if they turn up you know one day apart something like that it's absolutely normal right and you also you get double the amount of fun don't you it's like it's like you've spent double the like you've gone for two crafty parcels you get all the fun anyway lots of you sending in questions which is awesome can't way to um i'll put them all to to sarah as we go through the show first question that i'd like you to uh, just address first deborah spencer wants to know what's the difference in the ultimate and the ultimate pro sarah okay so when i very very first launched the ultimate we made our first one and and it was a card maker a box maker and an envelope maker and about six months after I launched it, I thought of all of these extra things I could do to make 3D envelope boxes and to have a ribbon shaper built in there and all these extra bits. So about six months after I launched it, we kind of re-engineered it and made it even better. And that was 2008. So that was years ago. And basically, I, that was very early on in my career, I learned the important lesson of take your time in your development, build absolutely everything in to future proof it. Okay. So which is now why you'll see, when I say about the Gemini, I say, never long, never upgrading this Gemini, we'll put all the functionality in from day one. That's the kind of lesson we learned from the Ultimate. So there are a couple of thousand people who bought the very first Ultimate back in 2007, and then I launched the Ultimate Pro in 2008. So if you've bought the Ultimate in the last 12, 13 years, you have the Ultimate Pro. If you're one of the two or 3,000 people who bought the very first one, I'd love to hear from you, because I don't, I think in my whole career, I've only met a handful of people who won that very, very first one. It's a great product, and if you've been using it for the last 16 years, 14, 14 years, uh, it's about time to upgrade and get yourself the pro. Yeah, absolutely it is. Right, everyone's all ears, all eyes, Sarah, are ready to see all of these fantastic demonstrations. If you've got anything specifically uh, you'd like to see, any requests you've got, get them over to me. I am getting an awful amount of questions in and just so much love as well for the Ultimate Pro. Uh, loads of people saying it's the first thing they ever bought. Are you saying ready for my Ultimate lesson with Sarah? Can't wait to see what Joe is able to put together. Great show. Hi Sarah and Joe, Crafters TV and Crafty Friends uh, from the Sunny Lake District. And Sandra says, hello all, here for start today, looking forward to the show. Good news from yesterday, uh, Betsy saying hi. Everyone, Sarah, is saying they've got their Ultimate Pro ready to go. So many people telling me that they've got the US one already and they're going to be investing in that UK in one UK, today. Right? It makes sense. Now you've seen that different pieces of cardstock and how the sizing works. Now. Couple of questions that I'm seeing just coming through that I, that I want to answer, okay? Yep. So people are asking, what's the difference between the envelope maker in the Ultimate and the Envela Box Creator? Okay. Because okay. a lot of people are going for the Envela Box Creator, okay? The Envela Box Creator is an add-on to go extra into the Ultimate. So can you see, if you go for the Envela Box Creator, it clips into here and it like upgrades your Ultimate further. Now, if I put the two next to each other, I'm gonna see if George can just zoom out a little bit so you can see them both, right? So, on your Ultimate, can you see you do either flat envelopes or one with a quarter of an inch gusset. Okay, okay. And it's got these standard sizes so that you can do all of your standard core size envelopes. That was so popular, my dad developed this, which has four different depths of gusset. So instead of just doing quarter of an inch, you can go up to an inch deep 
and then can you see how many lines it's got jaw so that's loads more options for loads you of that, there are a thousand different envelopes in this set so Brilliant. what you'll find is and you can see all the different sizes in the book so what you'll find is if you're doing standard size envelopes for your half fold bi fold tri fold cards they're all covered on your ultimate if you want to make completely unique size envelopes go for the envelope box creator so that's okay, the okay. first question next one we get asked is about the boxer right what's the difference between the boxer and the score master so i've got a score master kicking around somewhere here we go score master right so basically we invented the boxer first right and i did this as an upgrade onto the ultimate so can you see just like the envelope box that clips in this is the centimeter side of the boxer this is the inches side great that you've got both oh you've got both all built in right and you know how when we talk about making boxes i'll do the lid and base with slightly yep. offset measurements when you rest your card stock up against this side these are your true measurements when you rest it up against this side and read backwards these are your box measurements i'll cover all of this in the show your actual and um score master is exactly the same product it's just built to be separate so right. where is this clips into the ultimate so can you see it's got no raised edges so if you were using it on its own you have to kind of position this up at the side and hold you've got it all positioned to work whereas when we did the score master it was for people who don't have the ultimate and you rest it's got its own butting edge so it literally is it's the same product just this one has the raised edges and the handle this one fits into your ultimate so when i'm doing tutorials with the ultimate i'll always use the boxer because it clips in and um, but if you want to do the same tutorial on your score master you absolutely can but if you're scoring a lot then sir and you've got your ultimate open as your paper trimmer definitely be... great to have your score master at the side so you can be whizzing through everything you know not changing it around oh. i know loads of customers own all of it don't they well i was just going to say those of you that are hardcore crafters companion fans probably have them all what you might not have is these two boards here so these are coming included with your freebie frenzy now these work in the same way joe in that they clip in and they have different score lines on so for example this side here is to enable you to make this box here right so it's the sort of box that you couldn't make with all these rounded edges on your ultimate but it's got the template so that you score it on this side or if we flip it over can you see this one here is all about being able to make the little birdhouse so it's got all of your scoring to do the birdhouse and then we also have the next one so this one here if i clip this one into here that is going to do your milk carton and it does the larger milk carton but it also does the little smaller size milk carton if you want to do the small one so that's your milk carton size. super cute aren't they they're lovely john they're just a nice add-on and then this one here does like your takeaway box so this is your takeaway style box that it's going to make Excellent. on that one. And again with rounded edges. So those are the extra boards. We'll get into all of this over the course of the show, guys. I'm just kind of wanting to give you the introduction before we get started. And you get the extra boards and the box are totally free of charge. Yep. Freebie frenzy, which is awesome. Loads of love for it. Karen says I have the very original ultimate back in the day when it came with the added envelope boards. Uh, I use this almost all of my card base making. Mary Pat says I use the Scoremaster constantly. Helen Moore says I love having the boxer added to the ultimate i use it all the time uh, for scoring uh, and just generally loads and loads of love what i'm going to do sarah is i know you've got loads you want to share with us so i'm going to collate together some of the questions that everyone's Brilliant. sending in and then i'll do a big question section if that's all right with you perfect absolutely perfect so i'm going to get started going guys and this is a brilliant show to come back to if you ever want to come back and kind of get started at the beginning you can fast forward all these chit chat bits we've done so we've started off the show we've seen how to do a perfect half fold card yep and you also saw how to do a nice gatefold card let me show you how you do those with the smaller size because a4 is your standard size card stock which would be this size here all right so that's your standard a4 but a lot of the cards that is quite a big card to make joe what a lot of people do is take half the size so with a4 if you cut it in half or fold it in half this is a5 so what i've done is joe i've cut a couple of pieces of card where we've started with a4 and i've cut this in half so i've got two pieces of a5 so let's start with the a5 now it works in exactly the same way as the a4 so we're resting up again always rest up against the top where the handle is and you're going to read down so what we're looking for is half fold a5 right so we've got the half fold a5 
That puts the score line in, Joe, so that when we fold this over, we get a card which has a perfect crease up the edge and meets absolutely perfectly down the spine, right? That's what you awesome. want. Because if you think about it, if we were to try and do this, let's have a little look without that, right? You're folding it over, you're trying to get that lined up there, right? And then you're putting your crease in like this. Now, with all due respect, Donkey's that, back leg. Donkey's back leg. This, very professional. And that, in fact, look at the two of them, right? If you saw somebody, if you have a little look from the front, and you saw someone who'd sent you a card with this sort of fold in, it just doesn't look very no. professional. This one, on the other hand, looks uber professional. Now, it's handmade, exactly not the same. homemade, isn't it? That's the difference. That's the difference. If we want to do a gatefold, look, we've got the gatefold, just like what we did for the A4 one. We're going to use gatefold A5, score. Turn it right around, gatefold A5, score. You're going to always turn over and fold it away from itself, Joe. And then what you end up with is your perfect gatefold here. Now, if you try to do that with this, Oh my word! What we what we're going to do like that, right? Question for my um, for my uh, just for my brain, Sarah. Yeah. If you had a single, if your card stock was coated on one side, yeah. What side would you score on the coated always side? Score on the court, always score always on the coated side. Always score on the coated side. Okay, thank you. Right. Um, Joe, there's there's my homemade attempt to get <laughs> right? Oh dear. Doesn't Looks meet, like a dog's doesn't dinner. meet, aren't equal, not very professional score lines, and then you contrast that with the perfect fold gate fold here. I mean, this is just not this is just not what we want for. No. Right? This is what we want. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, okay? That is, so we've now done half folds and gate folds. Where it really comes into its own jaw is if I also put the half fold line in here, right? So that we've got all four of these scored. And then we open it up to the inside, right? And we start and got all this decorative embossing, okay? Awesome. So if you want to start and do the decorative stuff, so say I want to do the archway. This archway is for the A5. This one is for the A6. So can you see, if I put it up against these little edges, what I'm doing is I'm just embossing. So when we say embossing, it's basically putting your tool in the channel and letting it go right through the channel so that we get that lovely score line on the other side of oh, the embossed line, right? And then what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm just going to cut through that embossed line. So I'm going to cut the embossed line off so that if you want to do like a pop-out card, instead of having to measure it and do all the calculations or anything like that, you basically have then all of your measurements built in. And then if I go back to the front part here, Joe, Use There's just your... so much within there, isn't there? It's like a little crafty TARDIS when you look at it. Crafty TARDIS, that's, well, a good way to, that's a good way to think about it, right? So if I put the um, little bit of tape onto these corners, right? And we're going to go with my first part down here, turn this round, first part down here, right? And that is my perfect pop-out card. Now, it's not that I'm saying, Joe, that you need to buy an Ultimate to make a pop-out card, right. but you just watch me make that in under two minutes. Plus, Seconds, right? and it's perfect. And the, the bit that's exciting is the bit that comes next. It's okay. decorating this, putting your fancy papers on, putting the little dangler in, everything like that. It's not the folding of it in the first place. That should take seconds. If you notice whether we do Z folds, pop-out cards, pop-up cards, K cards, the folding should take seconds the decorating should be the nice bit. Absolutely. And then when you finish it, what do you do with a card like this? It goes in an envelope. Don't buy the envelopes. Make the envelopes. Watch how easy it is. So you've seen a little bit of card making there. If I jump over to the envelopes folding side, right? And what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm just going to take my board out there. That's where your board store inside, right? So I go into here and I get this instruction manual out, right? So if I go through, and it's, it's really easy to follow, just talks you through the 10 functions, shows you all the different parts that you're going to do, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go right through to, let's have, oh, we'll cover this technique later. Magic ruler technique, brilliant, right? Magic ruler. Uh, envelope making, right? So if I want to do the envelope, you've got regular envelopes or envelope boxes. Now, this is a standard size card, because if you think it started off life as a piece of A4, it was cut in half to an A5, and then it's been folded in half, which in the UK is called an A6. And it tells you here, a C6 envelope, Joe, yep. fits an A6 card, Perfect. which is A4 
folded into quarters, right? I, actually, no, I'm going to see if George can zoom in, right? Did I have so, a question, Sarah? What is the biggest envelope you can make on the Ultimate Pro? So this one, it'll go up to A5. Brilliant. Which would be this size. So your Fantastic. A4 folded in half. So you've got there C6, A6 card folded into quarters, 21 centimetres square. We're going to use lines C and D. So what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm just going to get a nice fancy piece of card. So we've got some of these nice fancy cards on the show. So I'll get a piece of this out. Uh, and actually, I'm going to do two envelopes here. So I think I'll get two fancy pieces of cardstock out just so that I can show you the difference, right? So 21 centimetres square. So all I'm going to do is I've got my paper trimmer over here and I'm just going to trim this jaw at 21 centimetres. Awesome. I know I'm slightly off your camera, so you uh, can't see. We've got the guillotines on the show as well today. I know uh, we've got the small one uh, in the UK and the US. The large one is available in the UK. I would definitely urge you, go to the Shop the Show category. Have a look at all the beautiful papers we've got as well. I'll take you through some more of those as we go through the show. Brilliant, thank you. So 21 centimetres square, line C and D, jaw. So what you do is, into the corner, right? And we do first of all the C line. So he's C, and we score C, turn it right around so that you're on the opposite corner, and you're doing C. And then the other line was E, so we go into the corner and we do E. Then you also do the other one, which is E. So we've done the same line on opposite corners, Joe. And then score on the top and fold it away from itself. So there's our E line, same here. There's your E-line there. How simple is that? And then a little bit of tape, that's it, Joe. So it takes seconds and it costs pennies. And that is an envelope that you are going to want to open, right? I definitely know that's not a bill, which is my kind of envelope. That's your kind of envelope. And can you <laughs> see, that will fit perfectly inside that envelope, right? Amazing. Now, that's if you want to do a flat envelope. Let's do the same envelope in 3D. So remember, I cut two pieces, yep. So it was C and E. So the difference we do now is, George, in the corner and C, just like before. But then can you see there's a little step? Yeah. So you go into the step and you do line C again. Ah, oh, so is that what gives you like a little bit of a gusset? That gives you the gusset. Perfect. So into the corner, corner C, into the step and C again. And then on the other corner, the other line is E. So we go E into the little step and E and then exactly the same on this side. Now, when you're doing, Joe, the gusset, what you do need to do is just, for these corners to fold well, what you're going to do is you're going to just trim the corners out. So all I like to do, can you see, is just trim these out, and I like to do it, uh, round them off at the same time. Do you time do it so on both, on all four corners, Sarah? All four corners, Joe. Okay, okay, yeah. excellent. Well, I like to anyway. Some people only do it on the... Um, on, on the top two. Because I get confused. Is there some you do, is there one style you do on the top two and one style you do on all four? Uh, no, I do. I okay. always do on all four with these. Okay, if no. I'm doing, uh, using my Envelo box right. and not doing a quarter of an inch gusset, but I'm doing like a, a whole inch, yeah. I don't want to cut the corner right out. What I want to do is leave the flap so that I can assemble it like a box. Ah, okay. Great to know. And I'll try and show you one of those later on in the show. I keep feeling like I'm saying later in the show, later in the show. Hmm. And it feels like a long we time, two hours. We could do four hour masterclass on so I could stay here all afternoon <laughs> and show you the ultimate. That, that's why I did that. Um, that's why I did that uh, USB video tutorial last year, so that I had. I, I literally spent three days recording this tutorial so that you had everything. So if you haven't got the USB, I know we're out of stock of them at the moment, um, but they're definitely worth when they come into stock. So we'll look let at you that. know. That's got that little gusset on there, Joe. So it's got that 3D, so it's exactly the same envelope. Difference is it's just got the gusset and the little 3D element to it, which I just think is even better for when you're doing like a, have a little look from the front, you'll see what I mean. Look at that, that's really- Excellent. And it, exactly the same envelope as your flat one, it's just sometimes you only need a flat envelope, sometimes you want that 3D one. And that's, but it's just as easy whichever size you do. So that is the very basics of card making and envelope making. But bear in mind, this is a card maker, box maker, envelope maker, paper trimmer, uh, ribbon shaper. It's got your uh, decorative embossing lines and corners, your pop-out card creator, your 3D envelope box creator, your tools are included, and it's got integrated storage. So it's a 10-in-one, 
we've scratched the surface on the first two functions and that's it absolutely there's going to be so much make sure you're saving this show bookmarking this sharing it on facebook just a quick question for you sarah lorraine says uh, during birthday week in october sarah suggested having both as we've talked about in this show she has two but she doesn't know if she has the same two or two different ones how can you tell whether you've got the uk one or the us one sarah okay let me put the two next to each other right so if i look at this one here right the um so can you see on the uk one it's got a dragonfly right on the us one it's got a butterfly it, okay dragonfly that's in the, the uk way I tell the difference. butterfly in the us that's yep. the only way you'll know uh, so there you go lorraine have you got a dragonfly and a butterfly or two dragonflies two butterflies let me know uh right i want to just go back over what you are getting uh, and just clear up what you've got so what you are getting really in here is the ultimate pro you can say goodbye to buying card blanks envelopes uh, you don't need a paper trimmer when you've got this there is everything in here sarah said it is a 10 in one it means each function is costing you three pounds 99 i know if you came back and bought the ultimate from us at any other time other than in our freebie frenzy event we would sell it to you it would be incredible value it would be 39.99 or 69.95 you would not be getting all of the extra value included which is almost 45 pounds or 45 dollars worth of extra goodies in there so for this really special event we are including it therefore i think maybe if you've already got the us version you want to get the uk version you're going to get both and then you're going to get all of the extra boards as well let me take you through the extra value that you are getting in here it's about 40 pounds or 40 dollars worth of extra value you are going to get the boxer boards so this is going to enable you to make a whole host of different boxes there is loads of inspiration for you available on our website i believe this is the third or fourth ultimate masterclass we've done sarah something along those lines uh, yeah just in the At last least. few months yeah, yeah yeah incredible so it means you can go back and get all all of that inspiration education anytime you like totally free of charge over on the website so I don't want you to get this and think that you're not going to know how to use it you have got the manual included if you have misplaced your manual your instruction manual get yourself over to the website go to downloads you can get the US and the UK versions downloaded right now on the website as well then what we're going to give you are these two boards which are going to make these awesome styles I've got visions of going out for a cute little picnic with someone, Sarah, and making them their own little personalised box with some sandwiches in there. Yeah. Maybe one of your famous scones in there as well. Uh, you'll get a couple in there, Joel. Absolutely you will. And also then this wonderful bird box as well. How about though creating incredible things as well, like this one here. Imagine that. Uh, that would be great. Just thinking if you get a little, I reckon you could get a little bottle of dessert wine in there. Uh, yeah, beautifully you, yep. uh, you know because going around for summer dinner take dessert wine Sarah they never have dessert wine but nope. it's delicious uh, and of course you're going to be able to make this wonderful twisted takeaway box as well and that is scratching the surface there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different techniques of different concepts that you can do with this I think when you look at it you see 39.99 it in no way um, highlights the amount of amazing things that you're going to be able to do the other thing I'm going to say to you is as well if you're not holding on to your craft desk you're going to if you're not sat down hold on to your craft desk because Club Inspire Platinum members out there if you wanted to uh, if you've got the US version you want to go for the UK version 31 pounds 99 uh, for platinum members uh, in the UK which is awesome you're going to get an extra $14 off of this price if you are a US platinum member as well which is amazing $56 and we're gonna whack an extra 100 bonus points on there as well uh, it's an incredible deal it really is what I want to do is I know you've got a lot of information there from Sarah you could talk about this for I reckon we could have some sort of world record attempt for how long someone could talk about <laughs> one single product I'm gonna go like 48 hours what do you guys think anyway what I'd like to do is just give you that overview again which is going to enable you going to enable you to get an understanding a little bit of a flavor of such a broad spectrum of things that your ultimate pro is going to do for you the ultimate crafters companion is an all-in-one compact carry case which is going to allow you to score measure trim emboss and embellish the case incorporates 10 vital paper crafting tools all rolled into one lightweight and portable product. If you're crafting at home, this makes a great workstation. 
or the carry case design allows you to easily pack up everything you need for crafting on the move. With the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make hundreds of different cards in all shapes and sizes. Working with standard card and paper size, you can fold anything, from basic bifold, trifolds and gatefold cards, right up to pop-out, jump-up cards, or even more complex keepsake books. Simply rest your cardstock against the carefully calculated grid lines, read off the desired size, and use one of the specially designed scoring tools to create an accurate and very professional crease. Every card needs an envelope, and with the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make envelopes in any shape and size to match all your handmade cards. Package your delicate craft projects in colour coordinated matching envelopes and add a professional finishing touch. No longer will you be restricted to making cards to correspond with ready made envelope sizes. With hundreds of possible size combinations, your imagination is the limit. And for those really special dimensional cards, you can create 3D box envelopes to not only house but to protect your handmade card creations. Create your own boxes in any shape and size from a matchbox right up to a shoebox. All of the calculating and measuring has been taken care of for you so you can simply follow the guide and create custom sized boxes which fit together perfectly. Triangular, hexagonal, diamond shaped boxes are all possible as well as your regular boxes. You can also create specialised exploding boxes or expanding boxes too. You can even make your own favour boxes for those special occasions. Any craft toolbox should include a paper trimmer, and when you're crafting on the go with the ultimate paper crafting tool, you'll need a paper trimmer at your fingertips. The integrated trimmer stores inside the tool and clips into place for easy access. The ergonomically designed cutting mouse holds a standard size blade, which is very easy to replace. Create delicate embellishment for your paper crafting projects with the integrated bow maker. The simple six step process will allow you to create perfect bows in an instant. For paper embellishment, you can use the decorative embossing shapes which are featured throughout the board. Emboss onto special papers, vellums or even acetate to create your own intricate toppers. Everything you need comes included with the tool and stores inside for easy access. Each unit includes a full colour instruction book, cutting mouse and ruler, the bow making pegs and two specially designed scoring and embossing tools. Whether you're crafting on the move or using this as a complete workstation at home, the Ultimate Crafters Companion provides you with all the tools you need at your fingertips. I'm aware I gave you the UK details, I haven't given you yet the US version details. If you're in the US, maybe you already own, already own the UK version, you're going for the US version, maybe you're seeing this for the first, maybe, can you imagine, Sarah? What? Maybe it's going to be your first purchase from us here at Crafters Companion. It is the ultimate first purchase for you. If you want to go for the US version, no, that side joke. The details are over there on your screen, 69.95. You get all the same freebies included in there, which is absolutely excellent. So you can go for that if you want to. What I want to show you is that awesome 12 by 12 cardstock uh, that Sarah was using a minute ago. Oh, shiny, it is absolutely gorgeous. This is like, oh, it's like, a, it's like an ice cream parlor in Naples. That's what I'm thinking. Gorgeous uh, tones in here. We've still got, they are packed full of luster and brilliance, but you've got it in these wonderful sun-kissed sort of muted pastel tones. It is absolutely gorgeous and it's double-sided. So it means that if you're doing your card blanks with it, you're doing your boxes with it, you're going to love it. It is 32 sheets here, which you are getting, which is excellent value for money. And it's 240 GSM, which is kind of like the best all round card weight that you could possibly want to use. Something else I want to say is, this is our freebie frenzy event. Simon though, Sarah, he only gives us a certain amount of freebies, doesn't he? So, oh, if yeah, and this event's finishing tomorrow, absolutely. so we're limited. And if you miss out on it, look, we have, you know, enough Ultimate Pros in our warehouse. Absolutely, we do. They're in stock, they're good to go. We are not worried about the stock of the Ultimate Pro. However, the difference is we are limited on the freebies because 
we're giving it away guys so we can only give so much away if you want it there's never been a better time to get your order placed and if you want to do that now get yourself over to the website hit the shop the show button and get it in your basket is what i would say right sarah i know you've got so much more who stole the last 48 minutes of this show i know it's just absolutely gone like crazy right boxes let's make a start on boxes okay so if i bring my ultimate back in we've looked at the card folding side here We've looked at the envelope making side. These shapes here, by the way, guys, are more apertures for your pop-out cards, which is what we're doing. These are, if you want to emboss onto the flaps of your envelopes, which we can look at a little bit later. What I am going to do is just show you a little bit more inside, because for example, that paper trimmer that we talked about. So if you're wanting to trim your paper, and you see this holds a standard size blade inside there. And what I'm gonna do is if I just take a I don't know, let's, I've got a piece of A4 here, right? So I wanted to do a sheet of A4 and we want to cut it to 21 centimetres square for that envelope. We come along to 21 centimetres at the bottom here because so you've got a ruler in centimetres along the bottom and you've got your ruler in inches along the top. So I could do it to 21, inch, uh, 21 centimetres, I could do, you know, sizing in inches if I want. You just cut, pull on the cut towards you and then there's your standard Fabulous. size re ready to go. And the thing is, because you've got all of those, um, the measurements kind of built in, it means whether you're cutting one sheet of card or multiple sheets of cardstock, it's really, really easy to do and it cuts through there. I mean, that's the, the second two layers, absolutely no problem there. So that is your paper trimmer, right? For those of you that are using it as, the, as a paper trimmer in there. What I am going to do though is use the box making and if you're only working on part of it, I like to flip it right over so that we've only got part of it. And can you see here, it says box lid, right? And here it says box base. So what we're going to do is, Joe, I'm going to get, oh, we've got some of that gorgeous hunky-dory cardstock on the show today. Uh, by the way, if you wondered why you needed an A4 size ultimate, this is why. This is like some of the hunky-dory cardstock. It's gorgeous, got, isn't it? I love it, right? So I'm going to go, let's do the lid of the box in this and the base of the box in this, right? So I'm working with, um, and this is if you want to, you know, you want to fold a gatefold or a bifold or a trifold, now you'll be able to do it perfectly. What I'm going to do is show you a box. So let's do the box lid. So what we do, Joe, is you butt up against where it says box lid, and these lines represent the depth of the box. Okay. And every line is half an inch. So for example, if I went for line four here, that's going to give me a box that's two inches deep. So what you do is you score line four, right? How many size options do we have there, Sarah? Uh, we go right up to line seven. Okay, awesome. So you can go up to three and a half inches, but you do all four sides on line four of your scoring board, right? And then, as I keep, so that's my lid done, right? Then for the base, I use exactly the same number line. So box base, line four. So I'm using line four, turn it right around, do the same again, line four on all four sides, Joe. Now, you asked before about um, score, uh, no, yeah, which side of the card do you score on, right? So because this is a printed quartered card stock, I've scored on the side where we've got the printing. So then you turn over and fold away from yourself. See, the thing is, I always thought, like, common sense would tell you you'd score on the back side. I don't know why I thought yeah, that, Sarah. Do you, want, do you want me to explain to you? If yeah, you I'd love you to. Right, so here we go, right? If you think about a fancy piece of cardstock, right? So your cardstock, and these are the fibres of the cardstock, and they're all intermingled yeah. together, right? So when we take our scoring tool, and you score down the middle of the cardstock, what happens is all those fibres, you put pressure on them at the top, which means they crack underneath. So this has been expanded yeah. by putting pressure on it with the tool. So this is now expanded. So then when we fold it away from itself, the fibres which have expanded fold through 360 they degrees. They kind of stretch. They stretch round, right? If you think about it the other way, we've put pressure on the fibres. What's happening to these fibres underneath? They're starting to right. fit, yeah. So as soon as you fold it, mm. they crack and they okay. all do this. So that's why you always score on the top and fold it away from itself. Just always think of me doing that funny thing with my hands. Just right? one other quick question while you're there, Sarah. If someone has the, uh, US, the US version already, but yep. they go for the UK version today to have both, are these boards that are included going to fit on their US version? They do. They will all interchange. They're, they're actually
actual. So we make all of the ultimates in the same factory. Awesome. And they actually come out of the same tool. Is it so near here? Yeah, it's just around the corner. Ah. So, um, so they all come out of the same tool. It's just we have a little different insert. That's the little bit that sits inside the tool as to where it puts the grooves. So the actual outside ultimates are exactly the same. The inside panels, Joe, are exactly the same. Okay. The only ones that are different is that outside card making and outside box making, um, sorry, outside envelope making. Because if you think boxes are half an inch deep, you know, the, the box making sides are the same all the way. The um, pop-out card create is the same whichever way we do it. So right, there we go. So there's my box lid and the other one was the box base. And then what you do is you put a uh, tape right up to the side there where we've got the score line so up to the score line and put a little bit of tape into the corner now these are all the demos joe that we just take for granted when we do them here on mm. crafters tv absolutely we just whiz through these joanne is saying as well for the basics envelopes boxes milk cartons etc when you think about how much you would have to spend on the dies that will oh. do all of these jobs this is much more efficient. Dies may be quick, but this does everything for a fraction of what it was cost. For someone starting out, so I mean, no pun intended, it is the ultimate tool, isn't it? Well, that, that is why we called it the ultimate. Oh, is that? And you know, for years, I totally resisted. Um, you know, when people would, some people want to buy like dies to make an envelope or dies to make a stepper card or whatever. And I, I, I always said, don't be so ridiculous, you're just going to fold it. And I know for a lot of people, they, they find this intimidating and complicated and they just want to go and buy a die set and spend a fortune because they think that's going to be easier. It doesn't have to be. That's why we have the masterclasses, Joe. I mean, look at this. Can you see that? That lid and box fit together absolutely perfectly because i've just measured can you see that it makes the box base a tiny little bit smaller than the box lid that is how the whole thing works joe honestly it's just absolutely it's they're just they're incredible once you know how to yeah, do them they are. so that is how you do like a standard size box but that is that hunky dory cardstock people are just waxing lyrical about it carol says you definitely got to let, let joe have a go with something at some point she says sharon says i have the ultimate pro for several years i've never really made the most out of it and i have a feeling that that's going to change after this masterclass. i really hope it will um anita says i got this recommended to me uh, over a year ago now uh, by a friend and i absolutely Absolutely love it. A lot of people, including Stacey, talking about having both versions as well. Um, Andrea loves it. Uh, first thing that she bought from us here. Loads of people, I think, especially people that maybe found us through HSN, Sarah. Yep. This was where their journey began, wasn't it, with uh, Crafters Companion? Yes. Do you want me, do you want me to show, show, show? I keep going on the boxes and do something else fancy? Yeah. Is that all right? Can I just quickly give the details for the... Well, you give the details that I cut I'll get a piece all of that right. cardstock and I'll do this one. Right, Brilliant. I'll pick one. Okay, doc. So here's some amazing cardstock. The, this is really, really, uh, really heavy duty. This one. It's a really good thick weight, 350 GSM, which is for construction. It's amazing. This would go really nice with the chinoiserie collection that we had yesterday. That paper it pad. Would. Lovely blue and white tones in there. So you've got this one in here. Uh, that's your uh, blue and cream. You're also going to get as well this one here, which is your falling flowers that you just saw Sari using there. Great price to get three. Uh, so you're getting what 72 sheets of 350 gsm the florals are coated the other two are not coated so if you want to stamp them and ink them you've absolutely got the ability to do it this is kind of like a craft card feel but with that printed white over which is really super modern 1998 or 2998 if you want to get that they're the wrong details they're on the screen i believe uh so i'll just get those changed to the correct details for you Let's just bring those in. 15. Here we go. So it's uh, a three pack collection for you. 15.98 or 23.98. You get the blue and cream, the falling flowers, and you get the get crafty as well. Get the sheet numbers changed there for you because you are getting more than that. You're getting 72 sheets there as well. I love that craft card, Sarah. Yes. Uh, that's awesome. Just to quickly show you as well the plain colours that you've got in here too. It is absolutely beautiful. So you're going to get the orange, which is this one just here. You get 24 sheets. Again, 350 GSM. You're also going to get it in that gorgeous pink. Now that 
Now that's a hot pink. That is my kind of pink, Sarah. Then what you're also getting is you're going to get it in the blue, which has got kind of a lavender feel to it. And you can grab it in the green. All adorable, scorable with those bendy ink properties in there as well. 96 sheets there, less than 20 pounds, less than $30. Pop that in uh, with your ultimate pro i mean you couldn't be able to use so many different card stocks aren't you so you can really go and have a good old rummage through all those pads and that Ooh, stash that you've yes. got well come on i've picked out one of the ones i love from that patterned card stock one right so this is a4 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my um a4 ultimate to my uk size ultimate right and what i want to do is i want to score this sheet in half right so can you see half all day four and i'm going to score it right down the middle there right and what we want to do is i want to make a box where we've got the lid and the base but all in one so i'm going to go now back to the board making uh, the or oh, the scoring board jaw right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this an inch deep so on the box base can you see i'm going to line this middle line up with one of my scoring lines. So I don't know if you can see that there, that I've got that score line and I've just lined it with the middle one there, Joe, right? And I'm gonna score one line to the left and one line to the right. Because what I'm doing is, and then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm just gonna kind of almost rub out that middle score line. So what we've done is we've measured the halfway point, Joe, and then we've put a tram line of score lines up the middle, right? Okay, so we've, got, we've gone with an inch up the middle of the box here we go so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to score one half on the lid and one on the base so watch what we do onto the lid and i'm going to go an inch so i'm going to go score and then i'm going to score up to the first score line and then one inch and i'm going to come up to that score line there right and then just for your reference what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim that line up to there so that there is my lid and then what I'm going to do at this side Joe is do the base so I'm going to use box base and I'm going to score an inch and then I'm going to turn it right over and score right an inch and then I'm going to turn it right over and score it an inch now I need our George to come and get in really really close we'll see if we can work this out between us right George right. so can you see here if you come see all that. the way in right and I'll keep tilting it so I can try and see it with the light what yeah. you've got there we go can you see how the line comes along and then looks like it jumps up and then goes down you can see all that isn't straight joe yeah yeah that's because this was scored on box lid right this was scored on box base okay so that score line is an inch this score line is an inch plus a little bit a flies eyelash and what, it's a flies eyelash yeah and that flies eyelash makes the base a tiny little bit deeper than the lid and that's how it all works Joe because what it does is it makes the um it makes the lid just kind of that ta it, so the lid fits over the base basically all right so there we go so I'm just scoring all the way around here and then just trimming all of these so that you can uh, you can just make the lid again fitting slightly over top of the base there we go and then the base obviously you've got four sides so we just go up make sure you're cutting out of the corner jaw right and then the same in this one so you're going all four corners trimming and trimming out from the uh, from the edges and what that'll do is this is my perfect base and then you've got your little lid that sits over top if that kind of uh, if that makes sense, Joe. Absolutely, it does. Karen Evans says, I have saved a fortune using the Ultimate Pro, making all my husband's boxes from recycled cardboard for his internet business. I could not live without it now. And do you know what? We think about using it for crafting, but in practical terms as well, you know, at Christmas, if you're making your own boxes, Sarah, mm -hmm. you know, doing things like trimming wrapping paper, you know, folding it half a few times, yep. trimming it to get the perfect size. There's so many different things you're going to be able to use this for all around uh, and, and all through uh, anything crafter you want to do some people are saying can we get the machine on its own absolutely go and get it on its own if you want to simon no, would love you don't it'll cost you 39.99 or 69.95 you won't get the freebies and you won't get the 100 bonus points so get it now whilst you've got all of those extras i mean who wouldn't want all the extras absolutely do i not understand who, who why, why would you not want i'm not sure boxer and all the extra stuff i mean even if you've got them already give them to a crafty to, friend yeah they're never going to come in wrong they're never going to come in wrong when you're getting them for free 
you know, if, you, if I was making you pay for them, fair enough, but when I'm giving you them for free, can't <laughs> go wrong. Right? Here we go. So that is your that is how you do a box. There's two kind of adaptations on box making job. Are there questions or requests coming through for specific things people want to say? I know you've been saving up all the questions. Yeah, I've been saving them up. I'm ready. To be honest though, you've been sort of kind of answering most of them oh, as we've been it's going. Like it's like I'm in your head. It is indeed. Someone did ask with an envelope, is it possible to put a gusset on the sides but not on the base? Oh, now, now that's the question, isn't it? I've never tried that. So you'd be making a, it would be a fold in the bottom, but with a gusset at the side. I'm not sure it would work. No, um, no, I'll have to have a, I'll have to have a bit of play with that, see if I can get that working. If I do, I'll do that as a demo on another show, but I've never, I've never, ever, ever tried that. Someone was asked if they can make a slimline envelope on the uh, yep. ultimate, so like a DL, I'm guessing, or sort of, you know, something that's a bit slimmer than it come is on, longer. Let's come and do Should them. we do that? Brilliant, yep, let's. let's. come and do them, right? So, in your, in your instruction booklet, you've got some standard slimline, um, or oh, some standard slimline envelopes, right? So if I look on here, you've got your um, DL envelope, now a DL, I always draw, I always call it DeLong. DeLong. Right? DeLong. Dimension so, lengthways, isn't it? Dimension lengthways, yeah, or but I, I think DeLong, DeLong sounds DeLong weird. sounds much that, better. So a DL is basically to fit your trifold. So can you see, if I was to do trifold, I'm going to do the card first of all. So trifold A4, score. Come right round here, trifold A4, score again, Joe. One of my favourite cards to do, right, is if you take this, can you see, if we line up the end of that with two thirds of the way down the end of here, and I just go all the way down like this, right? What we end up with is that um, embossed line going up the edge, right? So then if I trim this off, Joe, okay. what we've done is a, diff a fancy DeLong <gasps> end, uh, card. Because fancy DeLong trifold. Yes. The trifold. The tri de trifold, <laughs> if you want, right? <laughs> that, I, I mean, we could be. We can just be making up these cards as we're going along, <laughs> can't we? Right. And that's what so, you can do. That's the f half the fun of it, isn't it, Sarah? You can just make up all your own mm. card chips. Absolutely. Notice I'm always folding away from that score line, Joe, even if we then fold it back on itself. I think so, it looks like a mountain, this. Like a mountain card. A I mountain, always imagine nice. like a mountainscape, yeah. Have a little look at that. So, yeah, I think it could look quite mountainscape-y, right? So that's a DL size card. Or a slimline, right? So if I just took the same and did, did the four fold on it, uh, and I'm just taking this and I'm going uh, gate fold A5, half fold, um, oh, sorry, half fold A4, not A5. We're working on A4, Sarah. Right, if you ever do that, by the way, guys, and you want to rub out one of your score lines, you're just trying to turn it over and give it a bit of a rub. It won't disappear altogether, but I mean, it almost goes, doesn't it? So if you ever do that and do the wrong score line, okay. don't think it's the end of the world, right? So that gives me the half fold and the gate fold, and then I'm doing the same with my gate fold here. So that is if you want to do like a four fold concertina. Nice. You absolutely can do. And then again, you could either trim that diagonal. So if I wanted to put my paper trimmer in the middle jaw, and this is why it's I just I love that the paper trimmer just together. slots right in there. It's Great if so you were going easy. off to like the caravan or something, you know, you yes. want to do some crafting on the go or on a train or something like that if you had a table, perfect. There we go. So I've now got like a slimline card that we've done a slimline. Love it. Uh, zigzag, zigzag fold, right? It looks awesome, Sarah. Right, so here we go. So if we want to do envelopes for these, right? So let's start with my trifold first of all. So we come onto this section, and what I'm going to do is I've got um, I've got my DL envelope. So this fits an A4 card folded into thirds, which is this one here, A4 folded into thirds. I need 24.5 centimeter square. So I've got that lovely summer sorbet, Joe. Delicious, isn't it, that summer sorbet? Oh, I love it. I mean, I've used it for nearly all the cards today. So uh, what I'm going to do is, should we use the um, we use the trimmer in here yeah please. right so if i'm popping my trimmer in what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop this in and i'm going to go at uh, 24.5 centimeters so 24 and a half up there score line in here and then you cut as it pulls towards you yeah Brilliant. and then i'm going to do exactly the same again i'm going to go 24.5 pop this down cut towards me that's 24 and a half centimetre square ready to make into the envelope. Excellent. Without having to even have another single product here. All on board. Out. All on the one board, right? So back over to my envelope folding. So are we doing a regular or a 3D envelope? 
Um, oh, I don't know. What do you think? I'd go 3D. Let's. In for a penny, in for a pound. C and G, right? So you come into the corner and you do C. And then you come into the little bit of a, um, can you see? You come into the step and do C. Nice. There's your gusset. Opposite corner, C, into the step and C. So you always do, if you're doing two lines, it's always you start at the top and then drop down to the second one, Sarah. Is that right? To be honest, you can do, you can do it either way, okay. as long as you do one, one, one on the step and one down from the step. Okay, cool. And it works exactly the same way. Now, any one of your slimline envelopes are all going to be made in exactly the same way to this, right? So what you'll find is the only extra bit that we need to do is that the edges are going to be too long so okay. i'll show you this in a second so i'm cutting out my corners by the way guys if you're wondering why i flip it over i'm right-handed right so i find that i can do that i can kind of round it to the right what i can't do is round it no. to the left right well I, look, I can do i've done it there check you was, out sarah scissorhands that was that was not the easiest to do this and i certainly can't make it look very good on tv she says although I've, I've just made it look relatively good there right but that's all you're going to do is you're going to i flip it over and do it round it to the right because it's easier for me so here we go i'm getting all the sides with that little bit of a gusset in this is the bit that then doesn't kind of work for this envelope and you need to do the extra stage right so can you see when i make that that bottom is too long right so all you do is when you get to this stage just put a little score a little marker in there right joe so then all you do is you pop this up and that will give you can you see that score line there right and then you can either tuck that in or you can just round off that edge that's what i like to do here round off that edge there right so that when we pop these on a little bit of tape a little bit of tape on here joe oh don't get tape on your board and then that just folds into the corner perfect folds into this corner perfect and that is exact and then again whereas that's just coming a little bit off the bottom okay. jaw all i'm going to do is do a nice rounded version on the bottom there and that gives me the perfect dl envelope with can we see for that perfect i mean how gorgeous I mean, that is, is that? perfect it really is awesome isn't it i've got one more question for you Sarah. just a little bit of a troubleshooting if you want my Go friend on, yep. anita anita vasquez on youtube says i'm having trouble with the gatefold Sarah. i've got the us ultimate i am using the us eight and a half by 11 cardstock but when i use the gatefold on the board it leaves a quarter of an inch gap between the two folded sides right. what am i doing wrong come on let me show you so your, let me re replicate exactly what you're doing, right? So we're on here, and we are on the gatefold US letter. Now this is measured so precisely it's unreal, right? But watch, if you have a, in fact, watch me from the front instead of from the side, right? Because there is a big difference between putting my tool in here like this, right? And going down the middle straight, or going like this, or going like that. Right? right and also look how big that ball head is so that's a three mil yeah this one is a four mil this one is a one mil Kay. right this one is very very accurate this one not accurate at right, all okay watch happen watch what happens if i go like a bull in a china shop right and i press on with this ah all ah, right can you see i've, to I've torn my cardstock okay no. can you see there yeah so unless you're very very careful you go with the very tight, accurate one, and you could you could tear it. Okay. You go with the very, very big one. Doesn't matter how hard I press, Joe. I'm just going to stretch all them fibres beautifully, and I'm okay. going to get no thing. But that score line is now four millimetres wide. Okay. Which means that my margin of error is quite big. Okay. Whereas this one is one and a bit millimetres, so my margin of error is tiny. Okay. So how that becomes relevant here is. What you want to do is you want to use the smallest head you can get away with, right? So I'm using a three mil here, but then potentially I've got, oh, hang on, have I used, I've used the wrong line, right? Gatefold US letter, can you see, is the line just above here. Okay. I've scored, because I was rushing, the line just below. Okay. So watch how that could play out. If I scored the wrong line, and then I do the right line on this side, Watch here, the whole gap. thing, oh. it's actually coming, it's overlapping, okay. right? 
so maybe you're doing that let me just show you make sure you're using the right line so gatefold us letter should be the one just above where it says gatefold us letter just above where it says bear in mind you could have a bit of a margin of error because of your scoring so fold it over but don't burnish it same here fold it over don't burnish it when you're happy that they're exactly meeting in the middle then go over and burnish it because what you'll find is you've got a little bit of give in the cardstock to push this into place if you want to push it a millimeter that way or a millimeter this way you've got the ability to do that to make sure that that is absolutely precise but it's all to do with your type of cardstock and your ball head that you're using. okay awesome a quick one from Susie T can I make an envelope on the ultimate pro that's not on the chart ie a nine by four inch envelope Say that again, sorry. Susie T wants to know if she can make envelopes that are not in the chart in the Ultimate Pro, i.e. something like a 9 inch by 4 inch. Okay, yes, but you'd have to go and work out that. So in the Envelope Box Creator, we give you all the sizes for a thousand different envelopes, but the largest one we go up to is 8 inches. Awesome. So we don't do anything in 9 inches. Brilliant. Lots of love for those demonstrations. Deborah loves it. Uh, Jen says, well, nice slim, sl slim line. Uh, it looks so awesome. looks so easy. It is easy because you've got the right tool for the job. That is the point. Right. I want to go to the card stocks that are on the show for you. So uh, I've got the A4 Centura Pearl Bundle for you here. Now, this is awesome because you're getting lots of different colours in here and it is absolutely gorgeous. You've got 80 sheets within here, which is awesome. Let me show you what you're getting in here. So you're getting that gorgeous snow white. You've then got the lilac in here. You've got that wonderful lavender, the baby pink in there, the black. This one is the mint. Then I have got that awesome cherry for you, the turquoise there, and the canary yellow. 80 sheets of Century Repel for £19 or $27 is a shut the front door and kiss the milkman kind of price. It is absolutely awesome. Make sure you grab that. The other one that's proving very, very popular at the moment is the 12 by 12. Am I right in thinking so then with a 12 by 12 we could cut that down to either A4 or US letter is that correct? Yes that's exactly what I've been doing with this. Brilliant uh, so this is what you've got here so what you've got in here some beautiful colours for you it is like an ice cream parlour in a uh, paper pa in a paper form it's really lovely it's got a beautiful pearlescence to it as well really really gorgeous uh, great colour tones as well. $19.99 or $24.95. I know that some of you are multi-ordering on that and I can really see why. Very summary, double-sided as well. So perfect for your different constructions too. I want to remind you again exactly what you are getting included. Remember this is our freebie frenzy event. So up until I'm going to, let me just see if I can, if it wasn't freebie frenzy, right, let me just cover this. You wouldn't get this bit and, oh George, I'm going to take a chance and move it. You wouldn't get... There we go. You wouldn't get this bit and you wouldn't get that bit. You'd just get the Ultimate Pro. And you know what? If you paid $39.99 or $69.95 for it, you'd love it because it is amazing value. But for our freebie frenzy event, we are giving you over £40 or $40 worth of extras. So if you've been thinking about getting the Ultimate Pro, you've been thinking about getting the opposite version to the version you have, then this is definitely your opportunity to do so. You're going to get the boxer board in there and you're going to get those two scoring boards in there as well. So they are the sweet things and the special treats and these make some really stunning, spectacular specialist projects for you as well. That's the UK version. This is the version that you want to go for if you're either anywhere that's not North America or you are in North America, but you want to use uh, A4 card stock, so standard size card stock for us here in the UK. Don't forget you can use your Club Inspired discount as well. $56, uh, $31.99 uh, if you are here in the UK as Club Inspired Platinum members. If you're in the US, maybe you already got the UK version or you don't have it yet and you decided you want to go for the US version, absolutely you can. Here's the details for you, $69.95, it is US only on that US version. Lots of other stuff in the show for you, guillotines are over there. We've also got some great adhesives on the show for you as well. Right. 
I can see a lot of you have got very, very full baskets at the moment over on the website. So what I'm going to do is, I know it's a masterclass and we're teaching you lots of things, but with the deal as amazing as it is, lots of you shopping away as well, lots of you telling me you're going to be saving this and coming back to it at LA today. I'm going to share with you, there's loads of different uh, options when it comes to how we ship the products to you here at Crafters Companion. So that's quite exciting, it puts you in charge, which is awesome. I'm going to share those with you and also the details of Club Inspire. Take a look. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Now, I would always stand here and say to you, do you know what, all of our Crafters TV deals, they last 48 hours after the show. However, it's Tuesday today. You know what happens at the end of Wednesday? Freebie Friday, it's gone, it's gone. Freebie, oh, not Freebie Friday, no, Freebie Frenzy. It started on Friday. Uh, it started on Friday, but it's called Freebie Frenzy. Just to confuse us, it has to end. We can't keep giving stock away. Simon has said, no more. It has to stop. So it will, but I don't know if the stock will last that long. Now, the UK version is more popular than the US version. US version, 40% of the stock has gone. And that is not the stock of the Ultimate. That is the stock that is bundled together with the boards themselves. Of the UK version, which is what a lot of you are going for at the moment, half of that stock has gone. I know that this is a really lovely educational show. What I don't want to happen is for you to decide you want it and then it sells out because that would be absolutely heartbreaking. If you are watching the show back at a later date, many more of you watch this uh, on Catch Up than watch it live, check the website for the stock situation because the, of the freebies that we've been allowed to give away, that is what is running out. Of course, if you want to come back in a few days' time and buy the Ultimate, you can. You'll buy it at $39.99 or $69.95 without the freebies and without the 100 bonus points. And we always want, don't we, Sarah, everyone to get the best deal that they possibly can. Absolutely. Why buy the Ultimate at full price when today you can get the Ultimate at full price with all these freebies? So don't miss out on it. And I know... Yes, I'm here to try and teach you all of this, but remember, this is not the first time I've done this. So you can go back and watch all the bank of Ultimate Masterclasses. Joe, I've done at least three or four of them. Last October, Amazing. I did loads for birthday week. You guys loved it. There are hundreds, if not thousands of tutorials on YouTube with the Ultimate. So don't miss out on the deal for the sake of sitting not wanting to miss a second of the tutorials. Absolutely. Having said that, 
I'm about to do another couple of awesome tutorials, but they're all from the instruction booklet. So it just shows you how easy it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the UK sizes, Joe, as what I'm reading in the comments there in the break, the majority of people ordering today are ordering the UK one because they are shopping in UK card sizes. Awesome. So what I've got is, let's get some of that. I, I, I have to, I'm in love with this Hunky Dory cardstock. Can I just say I'm in love with it? So I'm going to get another sheet of this. I love this watercolour one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this in half length ways okay. so it's 21 centimeters is UK so half of that would be 10 and a half centimeters right so I've just gone in half length ways now if you imagine Joe that you were doing like wedding favors right for little wedding boxes watch yep. how fabulous this box is right I've done this for my friend's wedding she wanted to make her all her own favors I taught her right so half of a sheet of A4 what we're going to do is score it in half. So half fold A4, score it in half along here, all right? Then I want you to put the halfway point, which is your gate fold, and I want you to score a little mark at the top and the top here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate so that that little marker lines up with the halfway point here. Awesome. And you score down there. We do exactly the same here. So that little marker is lining up with the halfway point here, and we're going to score straight down like that. And then we're going to do the same here. So we've got the halfway marker and we're going to score right down to the side here. Turn it right around, do the halfway marker and score right down to the side here. All right? Excellent. So I've done all that scoring. Remember what I showed you, Joe, we're always scoring on the quartered side and then rotating around and always folding it 100, uh, 180 or 360 degrees the other way so that you've got that really lovely professional score line and especially the hunky dory kind it's got the bendy ink on so that's why it's called adorable scorable it's bendy ink no cracking your crease no cracking your crease so that is a little wedge box how they? awesome and fast is so, that well, and, and they take seconds joe and then if you're wanting so if you've got some like bits of ribbon so if i get some of that lovely summer sunset ribbon and i've We've got, got a here. ribbon bundle on the show for you as well get yourself over to the website hit the shop the show button you'll find it all in there too so let's have a look i'm going to just get a little bit of this out here joe uh, and we'll just go straight along here and now if you use if you've got a hole punch brilliant uh, i don't always have a hole punch so sometimes i like to just use a pokey tool but it does exactly the same trick so i'm going through with my pokey tool here right and then i'm going through here with my little pokey tool as well so i'm going straight through there and then what you want to do is joe just use that pokey tool or your scoring tool here we go to push your ribbon through brilliant so we're going through two sides through the third here and then through your last side and again if you're wanting to put things like um you know if it's a wedding you're probably going to want to put some sugared almonds in here for example Ooh, i love a sugared almond sarah yeah, nice mm. so let's have a little look and i'm going to just fold these over here and then you can do this little tie so again these are seconds I mean, absolutely, absolutely seconds, Joe, right? Now, I want to show you a different type of card now with that other half. So it's another type of card that you can do with a half a piece of uh, uh, cardstock here. So you can right? do two projects with one, with one A4 piece of, piece of cardstock. I am That's indeed. amazing. I am indeed, right. Let's follow the instructions. So jump up card, cut an A4 sheet in half lengthways, done that. Score the gatefold A4 and half fold A4 lines. So here we go. Gate fold A4, this line here, score it. Half fold A4, score it, right? Then it tells me, fold the bottom score line and put this against the sidebar. Mark a notch at the half fold A4 line on both sides. So I fold love that this. it gives you the pictorial um, outline of where the score lines go as well, so, so you're never really you're unsure, never unsure of where yep. you're going and what you're scoring, which is such a help. It does make life easier. So you put the little halfway score lines there. Then it tells me turn the long card and put the turn the card, but the long edge against the handle, and mark it at A5 here, right? And then what we're doing is we're joining up this uh, little marking to that marking, right? And then that top corner to the next one, and we do that, right? And then we're going to go that one to this one right so we're going across the middle here joe 
and then we'll go on with this one across to there across that middle so it gives you that like diamond fold across the center nice. and then you're going to fold and burnish all of your crease lines and remember you're folding and burnishing them all on that other side of the cardstock okay. right oh i love this and the card's so quick and easy to do right um, and Pamela says, I've done it. I've bought the UK version. I absolutely needed it. Um, and also, in a moment, sorry, when you get a chance, could you just recap what the measurements are for A4 and A5 cardstock, just for our US viewers that are US watching? Some watching. of them are asking no that. No problem. Um, right, so I've stuck that at the top. Watch this. You push this in together, and then that sticks on the bottom Now, there. that is right? fancy, isn't it? Isn't that a lovely fancy four card? So can you see that? So if I just show you again, so we've just stuck the top two bits together. And then from the front, all you're going to do is push these two bits in here. And if I put tape on this middle bit in the centre, that there goes into the bottom there. And that is a jump up card. Right? Love so it. So that is your jump up. Now, it folds flat. Do you know what size envelope it fits in? That one that we made right at the beginning. It is your C6. So it's nice. exactly the same size as a one of these. Can you see? So it's the same size just you folded the points down but the same floor space because it's just a different four it's just a different take on that card so it'd be brilliant to go in those envelopes as well now what i am going to do though is i'm going to show you how to do what's called the magic ruler technique okay and i'm going to teach you about some advanced boxes right so we did the basic box technique you need to learn how to do triangular boxes and also diamond shaped boxes so basically can you see on this one, this is what we call an acute angle, right? Which tells you about it is. So this is an acute angle. So this is uh, less than 90 degrees. This angle here is an obtuse angle, obtuse. which is where it's more than 90 degrees. Okay. It's, like, it's like going back to school, this, isn't it? It really and is. And this is a 90 degree angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do acute obtuse and 90 degree and then you'll know every angle and you'll be able to do every box Feeling i mean whoever studious. thought you'd need to do a five-sided box with obtuse and that when we say we're doing educational today we're doing really educational is. just thinking about as well how this is going to grow with someone sarah as well we're mm -hmm. including some boards in here aren't we but there's lots of other boards out there, isn't there, that you can pop into your machine, just yes. roughly off the top of your head. There's been a few questions about what the other sort of add-ons are and how many there are out there and available. Well, if I just show you, so for example, the Embella Box Creator, can you see what you do is you pop it like this. So they all cl clip into place in that size, side. And then when you open this, they all, oh, not going that side. They're all going to go in this side here to use. Okay. So it's the same if you want to use one of the other boards that we've got in today. It's going to score inside your ultimate like that. And when you want to use it, it clips into your ultimate, either on that side or on that side. So that's how all the extra boards kind of clip in and work. And we do Teddy Surprise and Butterflies. We do uh, the Sweet Treats board, special thing. We do loads of, well, we've done loads of different ones over the years. They're not all available and in circulation now. We don't produce, we, do, we don't still manufacture them all, but we have in the past done a lot of different Absolutely. ones. Absolutely. Just repeated the popular ones. Here. And if you have the US version and you've got a really large amount of boards, Sarah, already, Brilliant. I'm right in saying they're going to work on the UK version if you decide you want to add that UK version to your crafty arsenal. 100%. So Brilliant. all of the ultimates, in fact, I'll go back and show you again. I've cut my, uh, I've cut my paper down. Let me just cut this to a sheet of uh, eight and a half by 11 because okay, we don't. don't stock any eight and a half by 11 here in the UK because it's a it's only available in the US so if we ever do do eight and a half by eleven what we do um, is that that's only stuff in our US warehouse so sometimes when we do like a US warehouse special offer show we might be shipping you eight and a half by eleven out of our US warehouse yeah. all of our cardstock that goes into HSN is US size because they're a US customer they like to buy everything eight and a half by eleven when we sell on Crafters TV here, we're shipping you from our global distribution centre, which is in the UK. So you're getting our UK size card stocks, which is awesome. why we never hold 8.5 by 11A here in the UK. And the reason, if you're buying the US Ultimate today, you'll get two parcels, it's because our US Ultimate's only held in stock in the US. So it will get shipped to you from our California warehouse, and your freebies will all get shipped to you from here in the UK. Makes Absolutely. Sense? Indeed, right. it does. a lot of people talking about not having their instruction booklet anymore. They're available for you. Download section over on the website. You can find the US and UK versions. Download them. You're good to go. 
you get exactly you'll see both sizes and what I'll do is I'll show you again so if I go on to if I close my ultimate up right so here is my UK ultimate and you can see it's got gatefold a5 it's got your um gatefold a4 trifold half fold if I take my US ultimate right and I line the two up I'm trying to line them up for the camera yeah right so this one's got gatefold half US letter yep. can you see it's in a slightly different place to the gatefold a5 can, yeah. and then your gatefold US letter is in a different place to what your gatefold um that's gatefold a4 trifold is in a slightly different place again it's just it's hard for you to see them because obviously I'm trying to look at the camera angle here but just trust me when I say what a quad so this is your a4 and your, a your us letter size cardstock so a4 is a little bit longer but it's not as wide so in inches a4 is just less than 12 and just short and eight and a quarter this is 11 and is eight and a half so that's the kind of difference between the two of them if that makes sense absolutely right there we go so back to my a uh, lovely jump up card that I've made right so we're going to do a box for this so what I want to do Joe is if I come into my box board box base and box lid right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a scrap of cardstock right? okay so this is one that I cut earlier right and we're going to decide how deep we want our um our, our box to be for this so should we go an inch and a half? Yeah, let's. Yeah. I think that'd be good. Right, so these lines are every half an inch, so I'm going to come to an inch and a half. So what you do is you score down at an inch and a half, right? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this jaw, but I'm going to leave that uh, score line intact. Okay. Right, so I'm going to trim it so that I'm leaving the score line on there. So what does it say? Well, Michelle asks, is there a way to use the ultimate to make a gift bag? Hmm. A gift bag. Do you know what? I'm sure hmm. I've seen tutorials on really? uh, YouTube before where different people have done that. So, yeah. There's, people, there's are coming up with their own, people are coming up with loads of their own ideas, aren't they? Of things oh, that they loads. can do we haven't even thought about. I mean, the amount of things it can do is kind of endless, really. But if I'm just totally honest, we have sold hundreds of thousands of these Ultimates all over the world. This is the only product ever, the year it was launched, to win the major innovation award in the UK the US and in Europe wow. at the big trade shows for being the most innovative product of the year. So that was since back in 2008. And like I said, we've never changed it since that, since we went to the Ultimate Pro. We've built everything in. It's a 10 in one. It's going to do everything for you apart from what do the washing up at the kitchen sink wow. for you. It literally is an all sing and all dance and everything. And hundreds of thousands of people use it every single time they craft. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you, let's just get a, uh, a different sheet of cardstock here, right? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just take a little bit of my, um, my little dotty tape pen here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of tape under here and stick this in the middle, all right? So we want to make a box for this. And we want to make a box for this jaw, which is this depth, okay. an inch and a half. So watch what you do. You're going to get a pencil, and we're going to go around here, so you put your magic ruler up against the side of the box. Magic ruler, right? I like it. And just draw the line. Then up against the edge of the box here, draw the line. And you're going to go the same all the way around. Now, what you should really do, Joe, if I'm being totally honest, is instead of putting it right up against the edge, give it a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. Can you see that? So not just a little bit of a fly's eyelash, but give it a little bit of wiggle room all the way around so that it's not really tight in the box, right? So that is the size of card I need to do this. And okay. because we're going to do a box lid and box base, I'm going to get two pieces of cardstock. And I'm just going to go around here. And I'll, now I'll just do this for quick. Oh, I'll do it with my trimmer. It's easy enough to enjoy, isn't it, right? So I'm now going to just line these up and I'm going to just trim to the side of that. Oh, I've, maybe it's a little bit more off there than that, right? Trim to that pencil line. Because I didn't leave a little bit extra, Joe, I'm pretty much trimming exactly just to the side of that pencil line. Awesome. Linda says, love, uh, I uh, love you. 
Lo sorry. Love you, get Ultimate Pro. I am waiting on my U. Oh, she loves the UK Ultimate Pro. And she's waiting on the US version at the moment. Ordered the UK version. I've used it with many of my UK papers. Really looking forward to using the US version with my US papers now as well. And that's the thing. I think a lot of people, Sarah, have come back today and have got a second Ultimate Pro. Yes. Whether they went for the UK one first uh, and they're in the US, now they're coming back for the US one, or they've got the US one, now getting the UK one. I think for the investment, uh, to be able to do this with your whole stash instead of half of your stash is yep. definitely worth the extra money. Definitely. Really good point, that, Joe. It's an investment. Really good point you make. Now, can you see, I'm doing this. I'm scoring all the way around, Joe. This is my lid, right? And then this is my base. So I'm using... Oh, I scored line two. It's supposed to be line three. Sarah. So it'd be line three. So I'm going on all three sides at line three because line three is what I use to make my magic ruler yep and and so that should be the right size for the card that we've made yep and awesome. then this one here I use line two do you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna trim myself to a new piece of paper no while worries you're on there so just give me a second I'm just gonna trim a new Not piece of paper a problem right whatsoever line. I want to share some of the love uh, that is coming in as well for the ultimate pro uh, who we got here I saw there was a comment from PPE Pam earlier. You know she uh, has a crafters round in the back garden, Sarah? Yeah. She's basically sold them all the Ultimate Pro. Now they've all got them. So the whole Pam, craft class, love, yeah. uh, they've all got them now. Uh, Karen T has got the uh, original back in the day. Mary Pats has used my Scoremaster constantly. Helen, love the boxer, added to the Ultimate. I use it all the time for scoring. Nicole Bretherick, the very, very talented Nicole Bretherick. Love the Ultimate Pro, I have two, the regular color and the sparkly one too. Should we have a look at some pictures, Sarah? Oh, go on, yes, while I score this. Brilliant. Well, Val sent us a picture of her ultimate in. It's shiny. Oh, uh, very glittery one there, Special edition excellent. one that we did. Nice. Awesome. Uh, we've also had some of the uh, makes as well that you've been making here. Look at this. <gasps> Macarons. Yes, please. Look at that Un box. petty macaron. That is Fabulous. Beautiful. Do you know that's something I've never made before, Joe Absolutely. Macarons? Absolutely. Incredibly hard to make, Sarah. I've tried so many times Have and failed. You? Terry sent that one in. Mariah, oh Mariah, this is absolutely gorgeous. Remember, this is one of the boxes that you are getting included with your Ultimate Pro today. And remember, the boards, the extra boards are ubiquitous. They will go on to the US or the UK version. So, yes. uh, right, Sarah, you trimmed again. Come on, I've trimmed. So I've got the lid and the base, right? Now, if you were to, can you see, this is the acute and these are the obtuse angles. If you were to just cut at these sides, in fact, do you want to use the spare one that I've got to, to do it, right? Yep. Watch what happens. So if I just fold all of these over, right? And, and then on these corners, we go up, right? And trim a little bit out of there. And then I go up and trim out of there as well, Joe. Right? Watch what happens. I mean, look, look, it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. No. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> it's just. It's just not coming round. And then that's that's not that's not ninety degrees, right? So can you see? Let me show you what you need to do. So here's my base. On those different angles, use this bit of your board, right? Put your tool in where the two lines cross okay. and find that line underneath. Get yep. into the groove, so as Madonna says. I'm in the groove, right? Bring this down to the bottom so that that line at the bottom perfectly lines up okay. and score down to there. Right. Right? Do the same here. So I'm finding the groove, coming down so that that side is perfectly lined up and I'm coming down the edge. And you get your perfect tab and you've then, got do you? Your There's your tab. So ignore I these bits. That. So all you do is you're going to rub these out. Right. I love that you can here. rub them out from the back. That's just clever. Rub out, just rub them out from the back. So that now we're ignoring these two and we're using this set of lines. Okay. So you can see these are right. These are wrong. So do the same on the edge. Into the groove. Down to the edge. And this time, because it's a different type of line, do you know what I'm using? Can you see I'm nearly tearing my cardstock there, Joe? That's because I'm using that tiny little scoring okay. tool. You know, I've told you in the past, use the larger, use the, the large medium one, yeah. head, right? So I'm going to into the middle there as well and do it again. Turn it right around, line up the bottom, take that down. So this time we're going to ignore these two inner ones or, in this case, we're going to come and rub them out like I showed you. 
thought, well, I've never, I don't think I've done this before live on air, Joe. Really? So, yeah, it's really wow. nice to be able to show Check people you this. I've done it on DVDs off. and that. So we're going to use them 90 degree ones. And then I'm going to do the same here. I'm into that point of intersection and I'm coming right down to the edge and I'm scoring, coming up and then I'm scoring here, right? So then what you're going to do, Joe, once I rub these last couple of lines out, what you'll find is when you've done these a few times, you'll be really good with your score lines and okay. you won't go all the way to the edge so uh, that you don't have to rub okay. them out, right? So in these corners, I'm going to come up, right? And then cut a little notch. I'm going to come up there. Now, when you cut this little notch, you need to cut past the halfway point for okay. your acute angles. All this is covered in the instruction booklet. Right. Coming up the edge and I'm cutting my little wedge out. And so basically, Joe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble this together and then I'll do the same with the other side. So you can watch me do it again, but you don't need me to explain to you what I'm doing again. Awesome. If you want to take any questions. Uh, Valerie says, praise to Sarah's father for making this. <laughs> Good old Frank. Uh, Pamela says, we have a plastic bag ban, ban. I love turning the brown paper bags into smaller personal gift bags. I wonder if this will make it easy. I cannot wait to experiment and try. Leslie T says, hi from the US. I've had the ultimate forever. I don't even remember how long it's been. I use it every time I make a card. I make all of my envelopes for my cards with it and I love it. Carol D says, my ultimate is my Gemini. It never gets put away. Uh, Robbie Hedrick says, I've got the UK version. Then I realized I needed the US version as I have a lot of the eight and a half by 11. Yes. Now I'm ready to go for both. And I said it earlier, invest in the other one because if you, the difference is if you've got a big stash, uh, Sarah, like a lot of our crafters have, you know, one of these, especially if it's a 50-50 split between, you know, UK sizes and US sizes, if, it's, if you've been using one and you're only using half your stash, I think it's worth the extra investment of 69.95 to yep. access and enable and give a lease of life to the other half of your stash as well to make sure you get the most money out of all of the stash that you have. Uh, Mary Pat says this would be a great math project, teaching angles. But yes, I agree. It would. I mean, I, I'm. This I is how I'll be teaching. Math. This is how I'll be teaching our Oliver all about angles in the next couple of years when they start doing that at school. Uh, Notice what I'm doing, guys, with the line along the bottom here. I'm not trying to cover what I'm doing. I'm like holding this to just make sure that that's lined up. Okay. All right. So, so you're pivoting. I'm, I'm pivoting. Pivot. <laughs> Yes, right. And then I'm just going to rub these out and I'll, I'll keep going there, Joe. I'll Brilliant. Keep going with me, Crafty know. Angie says, thank you, Sarah. I tried to make this box and my box was wonky. No one wants a wonky box, Angie. Uh, now I can see where I was going wrong. So thank you so much uh, for that. Any questions you've got? And you've still got a little bit of time to get them in. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion across on YouTube. I'm starting to get really concerned about the stock. Let's start with the US version. Details are on your screen just there. 65%, in fact, two thirds of the stock has gone. And remember, it's the freebies. They total $40. I want you to get your hands on those freebies. I don't want you to come back in a few days when the freebies aren't there and have missed out on all the extra value. What is more concerning is the UK version. We're gonna change those details. The UK version, 75% of the stock has gone, three quarters. That's everyone that's checked out at the moment as well. It doesn't take into account everyone at the moment that's in the checkout process. If you want it, get it in your basket and get it checked out. I would hate for you to miss out. We've gone from what, 40, 50% to over three quarters in a very short space yeah, of time. It always happens, Joe. When we do an ultimate show, because people need to watch and understand how to do it. So it's always kind of the last half an hour or something, we get really, really busy. Absolutely, it is getting busier and busier and busier on the website. Don't worry, don't panic. Get it in your basket, check it out. You're absolutely going to get over forty pounds or dollars worth of freebies. Just don't think if you're going to come back in a few days, it's still going to be around because it isn't. We can only give away a finite amount in this freebie frenzy event, which comes to an end tomorrow evening. Right. So all I'm doing is I'm now doing the uh, the other half of the box which I have uh, turned inside out as well, so that it'll, uh, it'll fit exactly over the other side, just in case I've not done these exactly. So can you see, now this is me being a little bit crude and fast in my making jaw. However, was that my base? It was, oh, I don't know, That was my base, or was that the that. lid? Or is that the lid, right? And then is this the lid? Oh no, this is the base. So that is my base, right? And then this one here, is the lid which is just can you see it just fits over perfectly and we've made that lid so we've literally live on air 
I've shown you how you can take the most random shaped card, which has acute and obtuse angles, make a box any depth, so in this case it was an inch and a half, and we can make the lid and the base that all fit perfectly together. I mean, look at that. That is, even though I haven't, like I say, I was a little bit wonky where, well, because we've cut them. But if you're doing that, this is my crude way of showing you with the magic ruler technique. Awesome. Live, upside down, back to front on TV. You'll be taking your time and doing yours, but you've got the principle now of how it works. Uh, Sarah, Go I've on. got options for you. Go on, I'm listening, I'm all ears. Right, I know you've done a lot of technique demos. I have. You can put forward a card of the show, but run the risk of Jan coming in. She's gonna be using the Shinrazari, she's gonna have a long time to do the demos. Or you can say, do you know what? I'm just gonna tap out and we'll just put Jan's card in for the card of the day. I feel like you're I feel like you're setting me up for a tap out there. Uh, to be honest, I haven't made anything that's going to look overly yeah. pretty, but I've taught you a load of stuff. That was my priority. That's what these are so about, no, though, isn't no it? No card of the show today. I'll give that to Jan. Tell Jan I didn't want her to feel embarrassed that I'd beaten after I won last week and everything, so I'm just going well, to... Well, I hate to tell you yesterday. I, you know yesterday... Yeah. I'm afraid Go you on. were beaten by Celine Dion yesterday. You have got to be kidding me. Celine Dion... She drove all night to beat you uh, <laughs> uh, with I a scrapbook page. I can't believe it. Uh, that was the one that won yesterday. What I said to you? Craig I'd share the bad news. I know he saw you earlier. He was a bit sheepish. Anyway, uh, coming back in, what I want to do is I need to let you know it's getting busier and busier and busier. Something else that you might want to put in your basket along with your Ultimate Pro is the card stop. We've got some great options for you here. So you've got the adorable scoreable from Hunky Dory Pattern Pack. 72 sheets there, 1598 or 23.98. We've also got the scorable color family pads in here these are awesome a really lovely ombre of color there 1998 or 2998 the centura pearl this is the one i'd be really going for because i think you've got the, some of the best colors there the black sarah we don't often feature the black do we certainly not in bundles so uh, a lot of you multi-ordering on that one i totally see why when you're getting 80 sheets for less than 20 pounds or less than 30 dollars if it's 12 by 12 you're after if you want the option to go us letter or a4 then you're going to want to go for the 12 by 12. now I knew a lot of you would check out, and you have been checking out. I've just told you it's got busier. However, the US version, I'm going to start with the US version first. So a little bit less, not that much less, but less worried. 70% now of the US has gone. The UK version, I can see how many of you have got it in your basket, and I'm starting to get concerned. Details for the UK version on your screen now, $39.99 becomes $31.99 as a Club Inspire Platinum member. Does it become $31.99? Yes, it does. As a Club Inspire Platinum member, uh, this is the one I'm worried about. 80% of this has gone. It doesn't take into account everyone that has got this in their basket at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I want to give you an opportunity to check your baskets out and then we'll squeeze some last minute demos in uh, as well, if that's okay with our lovely Sarah. But whilst you do that, let's share with you all the features of the Crafter's Companion Ultimate Pro. The Ultimate Crafter's Companion is an all-in-one compact carry case which is going to allow you to score, measure, trim, emboss and embellish. The case incorporates 10 vital paper crafting tools all rolled into one lightweight and portable product. If you're crafting at home this makes a great workstation or the carry case design allows you to easily pack up everything you need for crafting on the move. With the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make hundreds of different cards in all shapes and sizes. Working with standard card and paper size, you can fold anything, from basic bifold, trifolds and gatefold cards, right up to pop-out, jump-up cards, or even more complex keepsake books. Simply rest your cardstock against the carefully calculated grid lines, read off the desired size, and use one of the specially designed scoring tools to create an accurate and very professional crease. Every card needs an envelope, and with the Ultimate Crafters Companion, you can make envelopes in any shape and size to match all your handmade cards. Package your delicate craft projects in color coordinated matching envelopes and add a professional finishing touch. No longer will you be restricted to making cards to correspond with ready-made envelope sizes. With hundreds of possible size combinations, your imagination is the limit. 
and for those really special dimensional cards, you can create 3D box envelopes to not only house, but to protect your handmade card creations. Create your own boxes in any shape and size, from a matchbox right up to a shoebox. All of the calculating and measuring has been taken care of for you, so you can simply follow the guide and create custom sized boxes which fit together perfectly. Triangular, hexagonal, diamond shaped boxes are all possible, as well as your regular boxes. You can also create specialised exploding boxes or expanding boxes too. You can even make your own favour boxes for those special occasions. Any craft tool box should include a paper trimmer and when you're crafting on the go with the ultimate paper crafting tool, you'll need a paper trimmer at your fingertips. The integrated trimmer stores inside the tool and clips into place for easy access. The ergonomically designed cutting mass holds a standard sized blade which is very easy to replace. Create delicate embellishment for your paper crafting projects with the integrated bow maker. The simple six step process will allow you to create perfect bows in an instant. For paper embellishment you can use the decorative embossing shapes which are featured throughout the board. Emboss onto special papers, vellums or even acetate to create your own intricate toppers. Everything you need comes included with the tool and stores inside for easy access. Each unit includes a full colour instruction book, cutting mouse and ruler, the bow making pegs and two specially designed scoring and embossing tools. Whether you're crafting on the move or using this as a complete workstation at home, the Ultimate Crafter's Companion provides you with all the tools you need at your fingertips. Right, it's getting busier and busier and busier. Uh, a lot of you have now checked out if you want it. It really is making your mind up time. If you're watching this back at a later day, check the website for the stock situation. Now, is it gonna be like a frenzy super speedy Sarah towards the end? I know we've only got eight minutes left, so well, seven minutes left now. Any last, it's the U, hang on a minute. The UK version is now approaching limited stock. If you've got it in your basket, get it checked out. Uh, any last minute questions you've got, as well, you've got time to get them in on Facebook or YouTube. But Sarah, what can we squeeze in, do you think, in the next sort of five, six minutes or so? Right, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite boxes to do. That little one that we did, this is one of my favorites. But then another one that's a great favor box, let me show you. I'm gonna start it, Joe, with a large sheet of the 12 by 12. Right, so if you're working with the 12 by 12, what you can do is use your trifold A4 line, right? So trifold A4, which is this one here, and I'm going to use my large head embossing tool and I'm going to go onto all four corners on trifold A4. Uh, don't press too hard when you go this because you don't want to go through the corner. Then once we get to this stage, what I want you to do is find the groove, Joe, find the groove. Get so we're in the, the groove. groove. Are we in that groove? Yep. And I can find the groove and come right out to the bottom. Can you see? So I'm doing that on all four corners into the groove, getting out to the bottom there. Right. Into this groove, getting out to the bottom. And then with this one here. All right. And then all you do is all of these sides, here, Joe, we're folding away from itself, putting the little score line in. And this is going to give us a, um, oh, what, what do you call these? I, I always call them like bonbon boxes, right? Um, I don't know, I, I literally call I literally call them a bonbon box because I love them. Craig right? called them something else today and I can't remember Did what he, he called them, yeah. When was our Craig doing these today? Because he had the, we featured this in the wake up call this oh, morning. Oh, did he make yeah, one of these this morning? Yeah, he made one of these this morning. He, uh, he actually did quite a long section on it. Yeah, he made lots of beautiful things uh, in the earlier show, uh, indeed. Um, quick, can I, can I fire your question while you're doing you this, You fire your question while I do it. And do you know what? After I've done one, Joe, I'm going to do it again in the smaller size. Brilliant. Jules asked, Joe and Sarah, do I need to order the separate envelope maker or is it in the Ultimate Pro? I'm just a little bit confused on that point. Okay, so your envelope maker is included in the ultimate pro so if you've got the ultimate you don't need the enveloper right? right you might want the envelope box creator okay because the envelope box creator is the upgrade which adds on to your ultimate and does a thousand different envelope sizes a thousand a thousand and that one if my, I just show you, you put these four steps on because it does four different depths of gusset okay so you don't that... want the enveloper 
because that's built in, but you do want the Envelo box creator. Awesome. And that again is ubiquitous to go with the US or the UK versions, which is brilliant. That's awesome. Isn't that lovely? I can see some smellies in there, you know, a bit of potpourri maybe, something like that. Oh, lovely. Mm, right, very nice. let's have a look at this. Let me see if you want to do it in small, right? Watch what we can do. Um, What's the best way for me to do it? Yes, I'm going to use the uh, the box making side here, right? So what I'm going to do is, should we do one, what, two inches deep? Sounds good. So we'll go two inches, right? Fold, crease, score, burnish, up against the side, line four again, so two inches, do the same again, fold over, crease, burnish, line two, right? And then that, you're going to trim off there. So I'm just going to use my paper trimmer jaw, which is just over the side here. And I'm going to trim that off, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to comb line four, right? Fold, crease, back in. Do the same again. Line four. Do the Sorry, same if you go much quicker, we're not going to be able to see you on the camera. I mean, you are speedy Gonzalez with this one today. I love it. They're, they're, but they're all the same way the ultimate. I yeah. could literally, because it's just so second nature to me, Joe, I could just come and do these all day, every day. And then I'm going corner to corner, right across the edge here, into the middle and out from the side. Brilliant. And then we're going to do the same again. We're going to come into the middle and out from the edge. Excellent. And just fold these over. So notice when I'm folding them, I've shown you how to fold that way. And then once we fold it that way, you can always fold them back the other way on themselves. Because you want them to go, you want them to go the other way so that they'll go into the into the box. So I'm doing exactly the same box, Joe, as what we've done with the larger one. I'm just doing it in the smaller size. Um, Doris, I'm new to this. What kind of paper do you need to use to make an envelope? Is it different than the cardstock that we're using our like paper pads, Sarah? No. And do you know which ones I think we've got them on the show today, which I think are perfect for envelopes? I really, really like the, um, oh, we use what we used. The, the, so the decorative paper. Summer Sunset. Yes, and, and the, the decadent, uh, decadent decor. decor. They're brilliant, I find, for envelopes. Awesome. All right. So I'm just pulling this out now, Joe, with uh, my a... nice envelope. And oh, go to the website. Both of those, bun those paper pads that you just talked about, Sarah, they come with a solid card pad and the complimentary ribbon as Ribbons, well. So you'll be able yeah. to make something that's going to... You'll be able to make, actually, your envelope and then a matching box and tie it with a matching ribbon as well. So you'll be able to do it all together, which is what it's all about, isn't it? Having that common thread that runs through your crafting, Sarah, that becomes your signature. And it's how people know that. I always think it's nice to have coordinating, you know, cards and boxes. You don't necessarily send someone the same thing. This is going to enable you to do that time and time again. You're not going to buy card blanks anymore. You're not going to buy boxes anymore. There are so many different things that you're going to be able to do. That is beautiful. And it just shows you how you can do the same thing in two different sizes. And that's just what, now bear in mind, there are hundreds of tutorials like this on YouTube. So whether you're wanting to learn the little mini boxes, whether you're wanting to learn bonbon boxes, whether you're wanting to learn to do acute and obtuse angles, or maybe you want to do different cards like a jump up card, like we did the pop out card, like we did your envelopes that had the trifold cards in. We've covered quite a lot of kind of basic grounds here, your card yeah. making, box making, envelope making, but we have literally scratched the surface on what this can do. Mm, absolutely, we have. Very, very busy. I need to let you know what's coming up here uh, for the rest of the day and in tomorrow, into tomorrow on Crafters TV. Uh, so let's have a little look ahead. Launch party comes your way as it does every Tuesday evening here in the UK, 2 p.m. If you're on the East Coast, we're gonna have an out of this world deal. We've got a fantastic Explorers deal um, in there as well, but all Explorers kit, I should say. Also, the Chinoiserie. Another chance to see that and get Jan's take on that. Very excited for that. And then Craig will be here. Wake up call tomorrow, uh, midday in the UK. UK, 7 a.m. East Coast time. Random Crafts of Kindness is the order of the day. We've had a hoot so far, me and Craig, this week in Have the morning. You. So you're going to want to make sure you come back and join us for that. Right, the UK version has gone limited stock. If it's in your basket, you need to check it out. Anyone that was sat on the fence thinking about this, Sarah, what would you say to them about getting it now whilst you've got the freebies and also the 100 points? Yeah, it's a, it's a tiny amount of investment versus the return. It's a tool, guys. It's, it's like... It's like owning a paper trimmer or something. It is literally a tool. So you just, 
get it because you'll never ever look back from it mm, absolutely do not forget to check out your baskets if you're watching this back uh, uh, um, a little later down the line check the website uh, for the stock situation Sarah it's been an amazing show remember you can come back and watch this anytime you like over on our website and we'll see you back here I will at least with Jan in two hours time see you then take care